Let's add some variables here. Let's make AC equal to X. And let's call this guy Y. And so we end up with this. Whatever Y is, we multiply it by root 2 to get to X. I would test special triangles here. I'd try a 45, 45, 90, and I'd try a 30, 60, 90. So let's say that we make y equal to 1. We're just using easy numbers. That means that x would be root 2. If we say that x is a right isosceles, then we know that we've got this configuration. And that leaves uh, this configuration for the other triangle. And in this case, the areas are equal, because root 2 squared is the same as 1 times 2. But things don't have to be that way. You could have the same relationship, 1 to root 2, but you could make this triangle a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let's say it's root 2, and then let's say this is the side opposite 60, so that would be root 2 times root 3, and then this is 2 root 2. Root 12, which is what this is, is different than 2 root 2. So in one case, with the right isosceles, the triangles are equal. In the other, with the 30, 60, 90, they're not equal. For statement two, we know that these sides are equal. We also know that this is a right isosceles, so it has a ratio of xx, x root two. But let's use some distortion. Let's see if we can change this triangle while keeping this triangle the same. And we can make this triangle smaller. We can make this triangle bigger. There are infinite ways that we can vary this triangle while not changing this triangle at all. And because we can do that, statement two is insufficient. Putting these together, this is a right isosceles, and you've got this relationship of one to root two. And so the product of these guys and the product of these guys is equal so that means that the areas must be equal.